Okay, well, welcome everyone to our August virtual team meeting. Um, we have decided to do these every single month, so just keep an eye out on the Facebook page um, on when these will be held. And these are good for anyone that's, you know, not local to me or your local director, or for anyone that um, might not be able to make a meeting, you can always come on here um, and ask us any questions that you might have. So I want to start by um, introducing um, our directors. Some of you might know them, some of you might not. Um, for anyone that doesn't know me, my name's Claudia, um, and I've been with Pamper Chaff for five years, and I'm here to help you if you have any questions at the end of the call or if you need help with specific things um, or need more ideas on how to get bookings or recruits at your party. So just let me know. Um, and then we also have Charlie on our call. Um, Charlie, do you want to introduce yourself? Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie Wild. Um, I've been with Pampered Chef, um, let's see, one year and one month now. Uh, so just recently. Um, but in that time, I was able to do the uh, Fast Track Director Program. So if you're new to Pampered Chef, you've probably seen that. And um, so that's what I did, and it was awesome. And so uh, I started my business in Korea, and now I'm in the process of moving. Uh, I live in Virginia now. And so, um, so I'm in the process of building my business back up again, um, which is pretty awesome in the military, as we know, that you can sort of pick up. Now you have a whole a chance to have all new customers and clientele and have a whole new start. So that's where I'm at now. And um, so yeah, if you have any questions about doing that or um, – or anything like that, I'm here to help. Awesome. And then we also have Lori Betwell. Lori, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, <clears throat> I'm Lori Bedwell. Um, I started my business a little over a year ago. I started in Korea. Um, I started because I wanted a discount and quickly realized that I wanted more than just a discount. Um, I started with freezer mill workshops. <clears throat> and then moved on to um, cooking shows, and I I absolutely love it. Um, and um, I too just moved and am rebuilding my business. And um, while it's frustrating at times, it is really neat to be able to do that because then you have um, you know a whole new area that you can you know meet people, and it really drives me to get out and meet people. Um, which I probably wouldn't do otherwise. Um, I'm a little bit more of an introvert than Charlie or Claudia. <laughs> so um, it's just really nice to be able to go out and meet people. You know, I have a reason, but um, yeah, anyways. I think that's it. Awesome. So, um, you know, I think most of our team, probably like 90% of our team is all military. Um, so we're all going to move eventually, but you are in the best hands because we've all been through it and have done it and have moved our business and and we've learned from it as we you know keep moving on so whenever that time comes you just have to be proactive about it don't wait until you get your new duty station and get settled and all that like you just got to be proactive about it and you can pick up your business within like four weeks of getting there um, okay so I would like to take a moment um, some you know not everyone's on but we're gonna record it's recorded, so I do want to mention everyone um, to welcome our new consultants to our team. So we have um, Brienne Brown, who was recruited by Liz With, um, and then we also have Colleen and Paige, who um, were recruited by me. So welcome to all of our new July consultants. Um, and then we're going to go over and start our recognition. So every month we are going to do recognition live here on our virtual meetings and then um, if you're local to the New York area then we're also going to do that at our local meetings here as well. So I do want to take a minute um, and recognize everyone who put their apron on last month. So basically anyone who did some kind of show, some kind of sales, Facebook parties, virtual parties, freezing my workshop, whatever it is that it was, you went out there and put your apron on and gave it your all. So I want to recognize um, Stormy, Jess, Jessica, Karen, Melissa, Michelle, Brienne, Felicia, Paige, Charlie, Lawanda, Jaquita, Stephanie, Troy, 
Brittany, Lori, Erica, Jackie, and Janice. So congratulations, congratulations to all of you for putting your apron on last month um, and putting yourself out there. I love that button. <laughs> okay, um, Charlie, you're next. All right, so next we have two people, and they're both from my team, by the way, who um, had who we had an incentive last month for if you had 1250 in sales, you got some swag for having 1250 in sales. And Troy, she's on this call, that she um, she earned that with a whopping 1926 in sales. And Brittany Weberly um, had 1630 in sales. So congratulations, guys, and. Don't worry, there'll be some things coming in the mail. I'm not going to surprise. I was going to have a picture if I want to be a complete surprise of what you're getting in the mail because I'm going to the post office tomorrow. So on our team page, we look out for a box, a picture of a box, so you can maybe guess what's inside. Good job, guys. Who's pushing the button? Is that Lori? There's my thumb. Um, Okay, so then I want to recognize our um, recruiter for July. So our recruiter is Liz Whiff, um, and she recruited Brienne. So congratulations, Liz. I do have swag for you, too, um, and I will bring that to the meeting on Thursday. So, okay. And then we also, in um, July, earned free-for-all. So there were two different levels to earn free products. Um, so level one with um, at least 750 in sales was earned by Charlie, Melissa, Michelle, Felicia, Brienne, and Lori. So congratulations to all the level one achievers. Um, you received, I think it was the um, new round stone and the new pizza cutter. So congratulations to all of you guys. Um, and then we have level two achievers who were um, Troy and Brittany. So awesome job, guys. Oh, keep up. Charlie, your turn. All right, so also we have one person who had a $1,000 show. We can all guess who that was. That was Troy last month. Awesome job, Troy. Troy's on fire. She's on it. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, Troy, do you want to share real quick what you've been doing? Um, I, I'm driving right now, so now's not a good time. <laughs> okay, you let us know when you're ready. <laughs> um, okay, Lori. Okay, so um, we've got the PACE program going on. Um, so far we have Liz and Brianne signed up, is that correct? Um, we have more now. So. Um, do you want to, before I say that, do you want to share real quick what the post PACE program is about? Um, the PACE program is just to help you in your business, um, whether you want to go slower or whether you want uh, you know, to pick up the PACE. Um, it's an amazing program that stretches you, and it, you know, it's more than just your business. It's, you know, it can help you in your life, too. Um, and one of the prerequisites is to watch the um, oh, Miracle Morning. Is that what it's called? Yes. Dang it. Anyways, um, which is an amazing video, um, and you know, it's more than just about the business too. Okay. Awesome. So this program does start tomorrow night at 9 p.m. So you have until about tomorrow night at 8 p.m. to join, and you do have to watch the Miracle Morning video. Um, everyone that has um, done it so far loved it. It is an hour and 22 minutes long. But look, when you get up in the morning, just listen to it real quick, or before you go to bed tonight, just put it on. I promise you it's very beneficial, um, not just for your business, but for your everyday life. So, so far we have um, Liz, Brienne, Melissa, Michelle, Charlie, Troy, Emily, and Lori. Um, and I, myself, I'm going to do the program as well. I've done it before, but you can always learn more and they always change things up. Um, so this is not a program that tells you you have to have eight shows or you have to have five recruits or um, it's just really for anyone whether you're a new consultant or a seasoned consultant um, and you just want to maybe learn 
something that you might be able to change in your business for the better, then that program is for you. So if you want in that, please go on the um, our team page and watch that video and then send me an email um, about your five best things that you took away from it and CC it to Donna or I'll forward it to her. Um, so definitely join us in that program. I have a question on that one, Claudia. Yes. The I think I read we don't have to do the call each like live call. We can do a recorded one, correct? Correct. So every call will be recorded if you can't make the 9 p.m. calls. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank you. welcome. Okay, Charlie. Yeah. All right. So up next we have um, we have exact we have three people for sure that are going for a director. You might be asking yourself, what is director? And with those three people, um, we have Liz. You see, I don't see you. Can you raise your hand? I don't know. I've never met you before. Uh, Liz, I don't think Liz is on. Okay. All right. So we have Liz, Melissa. Are you in here? There she is. Okay. Nice to see you. Uh, so we have Liz, Melissa, and Troy. And Troy's on the phone driving, so we don't want her, we want her to be safe. So we know that she's listening. So there's a um, – and we have one more person from my team who will be going for it probably next month um, is not quite ready yet, and that's Brittany. So in order to be doing that, that means that you are – you're ready to step up your business. You're ready for the next level. And that next level is director. And so that is you're committed to doing six to eight shows a month and um, yeah, five recruits underneath you, which five really isn't that much, and just has it takes a little bit more commitment than um, than it is now. And so that we have a certain program that just started that's going to help to direct them to get to that goal. So congratulations, guys! So we can't wait to see how you go. Awesome. And at any time and point, um, you don't have to wait for a certain program to start. If you feel like, you know, I have a steady show schedule of six to eight shows and you want to get more out of it, um, definitely let us know. If you have six to eight shows on your calendar, there shouldn't be any reason why um, you shouldn't have one to two recruits a month and sales. Um, and if you do that two, three months consistently, directorship will automatically happen to you. That's kind of what happened to me. I really didn't plan for it, and it just kind of happened. Um, so definitely if you're interested in that and you want to move your business to the next level, or maybe you want to get better at recruiting or maximizing um, you know, sales at your shows, just let us know, and we have all kinds of programs in place to help you with that. Um, so with that being said, again, July was our swag month because we went to conference. So um, swags were earned by Liz, Troy, and Brittany. So again, congratulations to all of you guys. Um, Liz is going to get hers here at the meeting on Thursday, and then um, Charlie's going to give the other two, mail the other two out to your consultants. Um, with that being said, we wanted to do some kind of recognition that it's consistent from now until the end of the year. So I would like to announce a new program that we're going to um, call, and that's going to be called Team Incentives um, Bullet Train Dollars. Okay, So every month um, you have a chance to earn so-called bullet train dollars. You get one for every 12-15 sales you do, that's consistent, you know, so like August, every 12-15 sales you do, you get one bullet train dollar. You get two for every recruit that joins your team. You get one for every thousand dollar show. You get one for bringing a guest to a meeting that, you know, has potential interest in the business. So that could be you can invite them to this, the virtual meetings and we'll be online 30 minutes prior before start time and can help answer any questions. Um, or you can bring them to your local meeting. And then you get five bullet train dollars for a consistency bonus. That means doing 12, 15 sales, a minimum of 12, 15 sales for three months in a row, or one recruit for three months in a row. Now, the um, bullet train dollars, you will get those in the mail. If you're not local, we will mail those to you. And of course, they're not real money, but um, we will post certain packages that we have available for you guys. So there might be $1 packages that might have some season's best cookbooks, some mini catalogs, some notes, 
notebooks or something. Um, and then we have our swags, which could be, um, you know, bags, baskets, um, aprons, tablecloth covers, logo wear, um, you know, bigger gift cards. So, um, and then you can collect your bullet train dollars and can, you know, if you're like, hey, I have 20, I really want this leather paper chap bag then you turn them in and we'll ship you the back. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, um, let us know. But I also put that on the pin post on the Bazaar team page. So you can reference that at all times. And of course, we'll keep track of it as well um, for you guys. And then we're also going to give away $5 gift cards when you set up an interview with your director. So if you have someone that is um, has interest in the business, but maybe you're new or maybe you're just not sure what to say or how to answer certain questions, then we can set, schedule a three-way call so we can either meet here on Google Hangouts or if you're local we can meet and have coffee um, or do a phone call or a Facebook chat or whatever um, so whenever you set that up um, for any given month I will give you a five dollar gift card and that could be to Target Starbucks Walmart so the typical places so again if you have any anybody have any questions about that No? Okay. And those are, you know, our incentives. So that is on top of what you earn from Pain Bridge app. So this is just like a little extra bonus for you guys. Um, okay. So now um, that we're done with the recognition part, we are going to move on to the new products. I know um, a lot of you are excited about those. I'm super excited. They're really awesome this time. I think probably one of our best collections ever. Um, so is Jess on? Yes. No. Not on. Okay. Um, so, Lori, do you want to start with some of the new products? Okay. I had to find the unmute button. Okay. Our first one is the Veggie Strip Maker that um, you can sell early. You can sell it this month. Um, it's great for healthier eating. Um, you can do a zucchini in like 38 seconds. It's plastic, so there's no guard. Um, kids can use it in the kitchen. Um, you don't have to worry about them cutting their, their fingers or anything like that, so that makes it nice that they can use it. And it goes both ways. So when you're, when you're doing the zucchini or whatever it is, it can go both ways. Um, <clears throat> so you can do it short or long. You can do short strips or long strips. Um, short strips for like hash browns. Um, you can use it for toppings and salads. Um, and most recipes that call for the julienne pillar, you can use this. Um, one of the things that um, why people will love it is because it's fast and easy. Um, it cuts, like I said, downward and upward. And um, let's see. And it lends itself to healthier cooking, something that a lot of people are turning to. Um, let's see. So some ways that you can sell it: you can replace spaghetti with veggie noodles. Um, you can make uh, healthy cauliflower rice. It's got these little notches on it right here. I don't know if you can see. Right there. So that you can set it on top of um, uh, a bowl and you can go to town with it. Um, so you can make cauliflower rice, you can make fresh hash browns, you can grate apples for um, topping yogurt or oatmeal. Um, it cuts down on veggie prep time for stir fry. Um, and then you can sneak stuff into kids food like grated apples, um, in pancake batter and grated carrots and pasta sauce. And then um, it's dishwasher safe and it's got um, non-slip feet. Oops, there, right there, so it won't slip. All right, so that's that one. And then, oh my gosh, this one is one of my favorites. We've already used it, my daughter. It is the personal pan pizza stone. Let me get my little thing. <laughs> there we go. Yes. My personal size personal size round stone. Um, these this is great. Um, my daughter has um, food allergies, so she has to make her own pizza. So this is perfect for pizza night. Um, I have like I can't have dairy. She can't have grains or dairy, <clears throat> and then the rest, you know, the family can have whatever. So um, having this stone will be nice that we can do family pizza night. Um, 
It's seventeen dollars. Oh, the veggie strip makers fourteen fifty. But this month you can get it in a set with the new season's best for sixteen fifty. Um, so it's great for individual people or pizza. It's also um, oh yeah, it's great for reheating leftovers in the oven, microwave, or toaster oven. Um, and most of the large round stone recipes can be halved and prepared on this. Um, so you have a ton of recipe ideas for it. Um, let's see. Um, just, you know, I would definitely tell all your customers about this new piece um, and suggest they purchase one for everyone in their family. That way everyone can top their own pizza for family pizza night. So it's pretty, pretty neat. I'm excited about that. And then, as you can see, this has a lip on it which our other pizza stones don't have. So you say, how are you going to cut the piece next to the lip? That is our new pizza cutter. It's the same right here with the round part, but it's got this little thing right here. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. But you can um, cut right up to the edge of the pizza. So it's two tools in one. Um, it gets to the edge of pans, and the wheel cuts through food like a dream like it always has. Um, and this is great for anything with rims. So we've got our stoneware bakers, our shallow baker, our white large round stone, our personal size round stone, small bar pan, medium bar pan, large bar pan, and metal uh, sheet pans that you can use this with. All right. Let's see. What was next? Okay. Um, we have gluten-free flour, a gluten-free flour blend. So this is amazing. My daughter, as you can see, has already cut into this. She's the baker in the family, and she made some chocolate chip cookies. They were amazing, um, although, of course, she could have used more chocolate chips, but that's just me. I like lots of them. Um, so this is great for, um, for people who can't have gluten. It also doesn't have, um, it doesn't have dairy. It doesn't have, let me see, I forgot already. Okay, so no soy, no nuts, no gluten, no no dairy. Um, and then for this, like a lot of gluten-free blends, you can't um, you can't do it, you know, replace it cup for cup. But this you can. So if it calls for a cup of flour, you can use a cup of this instead. So that's amazing that we offer this. Um, you know, it's a great thing for people who have food allergies or who are just trying to stay away from gluten. Um, Oh, I forgot to get the garlic rub. I forgot that I had that. But we also have a new garlic rub. Um, it's a blend of garlic, onion, chives, um, and it can be used in place of fresh garlic. So, And as always, all of our um, spices are gluten-free, and this is kosher also. And then we have one of our favorites coming back, which is the rosemary herb seasoning mix, and that's a mix of rosemary, lemon, thyme, garlic, and oregano. And that one is also gluten-free and kosher. Is there anything else? Oh, the all-purpose pot. I don't have that to show you, but it is amazing. I was so excited. Um, we got to see the video at conference, and this is what it looks like. And it's just, I mean, you can use this for anything. Um, it's, um, let's see, it handles soup, stew, one-pot meals, and large cuts of meat. Um, you can use it for the cook once, um, eat twice meals, so chilies and soups and, you know, big stuff. Um, and this, I wish they would have had this a long time ago because I had to get the big, huge, giant stock pot, and I definitely would have gotten this um, instead if it was available. But you could brown, braise, simmer, sear, fry, roast, bake, and there's nothing that the pot can't do. And it also, um, the steamer, the steamer that we got last time um, for whatever this season is, spring, spring, summer. Was that when it was <laughs> introduced? The, okay. Um, that fits right in it, so you can make one-pot meals. So you can do spaghetti and meatballs. You can steam your hamburger meatballs. You can do the spaghetti sauce in the bottom. Um, it comes with a recipe ebook, um, And let's see. Oh, that's the all-purpose pot and steamer set. So you can buy that in a set. Um, the pot, let's see, the pot is 230 and the set is $350. Go um, get them, Mom. Jason, shut up. <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to kill him. 
anyways, excuse my rotten 16-year-old son. Um, anyways, it's great. It's, it's a go-to for easy, fast, and healthy meals. So it's pretty amazing, and I can't wait to get mine. All right, that's all for me. <laughs> awesome. And then we did have Jess who came back. I don't know where she just went. She was just here. Jess. No? Okay. Um, Charlie, you want to go? All right, guys. So I have some of my, you know, notice a trend for the new fall products. It's all about fast and healthy and, and all about those kind of things. So one of the major things, everyone hold your thumb up. Everyone hold your thumb up. All right. So the thumb is a major, major way to measure food, right? You should know that now. We have a mat. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's all about um, healthy proximate portion size. And so it's an awesome mat to help teach your kids about the portion size of food. It has the palm. It has your thumb. It has all those kind of things to help teach your child the right – does everyone see this? Yeah? Okay. So this is a great way to – if you're doing um, kids cooking workshops – which is really, really popular. Uh, everyone, I had a fair this past weekend, and everyone who saw this on my table, at first, their first reaction was like, oh, I don't need any pampered stuff. I've seen it all, you know, whatever. And they saw this mat there, and they were like, wow, that's really cool. You know, that it was amazing, you know, something new and fresh that helps. It's only a cutting mat, so it has your standard measuring lines on the side, but it also is just great to help teach kids and family um, about, you know, proper portion size. And it's a great value at only seven fifty, and so something that can easily you can easily upsell at a show if someone's like ten dollars away or something. So you can say, oh, seven fifty for this, and they can add it on um, to an easy an easy sale um, onto the end of a show if they're a couple dollars shy. So the next one is one of my personal favorites as well, which I love them all. But this is one of them. Look at this cute little guy, this little mini measure mix and pour. So this one is two ounces, which is perfect if you're having a drink, by the way. It also is a great shot glass. Not that I would know, but I've heard. So um, anyway, but it is a two ounces. But if you're ever in a diet where it says, okay, you need two tablespoons of peanut butter or for your serving size or whatever, which I often am, or hummus, we all under like two, two ounces or two tablespoons. You know, sometimes it's a spoon. Sometimes you have a big spoon. Sometimes you have a small spoon. So this is great that it's here for you. And the same thing as your measure, mix, and pour, you just slide up and down for your liquids, your solids one in, and your liquids the other. So it's all about um, a portion, you know, great portion sizes and about eating um, fast and healthy. So our new measure, mix, and pour. Now, how many of you, and I view your products, um, so they, the, the, you all know the Food Chopper has been around forever. You know, it's one of our classic things. And we have replacement parts for the blade, for the collar, and everything else. But one of the biggest things that people have told me, you know, like, oh, what about the actual blade on my food chopper? It's dull. Oh, but then the, our classic answer before was what? Well, you got to buy a new one. It's time to get a new food chopper. But no more. Now we have a blade sharpener. Look at that. So if you, and it's easy to tell, if you look on the side, it has, it's, it's written on the side, it has a symbol. This one is for your, this end right here is for your manual food chopper, and the other one is for your scissors, for your kitchen she professional shears, and you flip it over to the other side, and it um, has the symbol for the food chopper for the for that blade, and for the green uh, for the coated knives. So this is an awesome piece, and not no, once again another upsell. It's a 1950, um, so I think that that's definitely something um, when someone talks about replacement parts, which you know are available by the way. And they can order replacement parts, and you get commission off those now. This is another way to add on to those replacement parts. If so, if you so if you see a customer that's um, ordering replacement parts for their food chopper, this is another way to say, oh, did you see the the blade sharpener as well? But it's a nice little package that you can sort of upsell. You know that that'll easily go with many many tools. So a lot of things that are just you know, make a lot of sense to me um, to go along with our already perfect products. The next one coming up is our, for our, um, I'll get to that one in a minute. This is one of my absolute favorite ones. I've been using it all the time. I'm probably bugging Claudia and Laura's pictures of this. But anyway, this is the shallow micro cooker. 
So I don't know how many of you have used our, our microwave cookers, the rice cooker or the small one for to, veg, to steam vegetables. This is another one in those lines. So if you can see this or not, this is the perfect size for a corn on the cob or asparagus. It's long and shallow. It has the insert. So you can put your food on top of this, and it has a base that the, the, you put water in to steam your vegetables in the base. But also, what I did today is I cooked bacon in it. Um, and it's just awesome cooking up healthy meals is that the fat from the bacon drained onto the bottom. And so in three minutes, I had four pieces of bacon that were cooked, but yet it was not sitting in its own fat. All the fat had drained down to the bottom. And so that's awesome. Another way to easily upsell, I, I always tell people, don't buy a product if you don't have more than three uses for it. And there's three uses right there. I've cooked corn in the cob in three minutes, per, three minutes per ear. I've done asparagus in it. And now I did bacon today. So there you go. There's three uses for this awesome tool, and it's only $24.50. So it's a reasonable price, um, a microwavable cooking tool that you can easily add to someone in the dorm room or someone is in an apartment living, they want microwave, they want fast cooking. So this is another way, another tool we have. The next coming up we have measure, mix, and pour. So this is a old, who, who has this in your house already? Anybody? Anybody have it in their house? Okay. So this is a measure, mix, and pour. It's not a brand new product. You're just like, well, what's new about that? What's new about it is that the new recipes on the side. The new recipes on the side are all updated to be healthy and for, for a healthier lifestyle. So what's the favorite dressing of all your kids? Anybody know? Ranch. We all know it's ranch, right? Ranch is at the standard end of my house. And so this one actually has a healthy Italian, a healthy ranch um, um, recipe on the side as long as Caesar dressing and Asian vinaigrette, which is really good, by the way, and Italian vinaigrette. So it's the same. It's the same product, but updated with healthier recipes on the side. So I think the ranch dressing right there, right there, is an easy. You can package it with the our seasoning mix to go with it, and that's an easy sell to a mom who's like, oh, I don't need anything, and I, yeah, I have everything. Really, well, you don't have that. So this is a new one. We can, you know, it's only thirteen fifty, the same price as before, but just an updated version. And go along with healthy cooking. And in case you did not have enough, we have one more. It is the pasta the pasta portion? So, if you look on the side, I don't know if you can see it or not. On this side right here, on the top part, do the the um, if you have how many por pasta portions you have. So I don't know about you. Like if you're cooking pasta, normally you would cook the whole bag. You would think, oh, I'm going to use half a bag because then the bag is going to spill out on the counter and I have a mess. It's like, oh, I'll just cook the whole thing, you know, we'll just use leftovers. Well, then you have all that pasta, and then you're going to eat it all. And then you're eating more than what you really should eat. So this is another way that you can talk about in healthy eating is that then helps you portion out your pasta. It has the lines, you see the serving size, you put the spaghetti noodles to the side. So it's a great way um, just to help everyone eat the right portion size of pasta instead of just cooking the whole bag just because it's there. Um, and what the great thing about it, and since I am moving right now, I don't have many tools in my house. Um, another way, three ways to use it, flip it upside down, and it's a measuring cup. So this has been my mainstay measuring cup in my house right now, um, So since my stuff is not delivered yet. So it is a great measuring cup as well. It has um, the regular cups on the side and milliliters on the other side. So this is a small little product that does a great way. And that's all I have. Awesome. Thank you, Charlie. And then we do have Jess real quick who wants to share two new products as well. Just unmute. There you go. <laughs> okay. Everybody hear me? We're good? Yeah? yeah. You see me? I don't see myself getting big, but that's cool. Back of the table. As you can see, I've been bouncing back and forth with the kids. I'm here by myself. Hopefully, we'll get through it and have at it. Okay, so first product that I'm going to talk about is the Cookware Sweaters. And I believe I can do, let me see, entire screen. 
Green or Google Hangouts. Let me see. I believe I can do that. Okay. Let me know if it's allowing you to see. Can you guys see it? Yes. Okay. So this is the cookware sweaters that we have um, that are debuting. As you can see, it can conveniently fit our rock crocs. You can also invert it and secure your rock rocks safely without having to worry about um, putting them down so carefully. I know that's one thing that I do when I'm so scared that I'm going to break one of the glass lids. So that's an awesome um, addition to that. So when you're cross-selling, let people know, hey, you know, you're getting the rock croc. How about you get a protector for it? And it helps to secure it so that way you don't have to worry about the lid going, you know, left and right or clang and whatnot. They can stack on top of each other just fine. The other great thing is you can use it with your stock pots. The bottom is a, it's not like a rubber, but it's those, like, um, the mats that you have in, say, your, your dish your dish cabinets where it's a non-slip guard. So that's on the bottom there. They have the Velcros on there. So I'm wondering if um, the small rock croc can actually fit in there. I don't have it on hand, so I'm not really knowing if that's legit or not. But um, they're real light, small storage. And even if you wanted to use the top portions that open up, um, you can use those as cookwork protectors as well. So uh, keep that in mind when talking to folks. You definitely use it as a cross sell when anyone's looking to purchase their uh, rock crocs. And the next item is our Keep It Hot carrier. Now this thing is amazing. And I'm going to tell you why. If you look at it, it looks kind of like a, a luggage bag. And if you look uh, over here, you can see how it just opens up pretty, pretty simple. Well, if you keep this side zipped up, it's kind of convenient because you just have that open flap right there and you can use it as dun -dun -dun -dun, a paperwork holder. So for folks who are consultants or even offices on the go, this is something that they can utilize outside of just holding their food. Another thing is, is if you look over on this area, it has those little Velcro straps so anything can be stored securely, whether it be a small dish like a rock crock or a big dish like a big pot, like our um, the new big pot that we have. All that can fit in there, two side pockets, so you can store your pens in there, you can store your spoons in there, whatever is necessary uh, to cross sell for your mommies. Storage. We're all looking for storage. Things I came up with were kids' puzzles. I know that that's a nightmare for me because as soon as I put them anywhere, I like to keep them. I'm a little OCD with it. I like to keep them put together and just stack them on top of each other. Well, this way, unless my kids unzip it, they can't get it out. So mommy has to get the puzzles out now. So that's a good thing. Um, traveling on the go, if you have older kids and they like to bring their gaming systems, their Xbox 360s, their PS4s, PS3s, PS2s, or whatever, you can store everything in there now. You don't have to purchase an extra, you know, carrier that's specified from Sony. You can do it all in there. You can keep all the clutter in one spot. Um, you can fit both of the cool and serve. So if you're traveling on the go and you've got to bring something for the picnic or the potluck at church, now you can put both of them in there instead of having to carry two separately. Uh, I want to say it's tall enough also to even carry our salad bowl. And if you're looking to have dividers, you can easily use the, the um, cookie sheets that we have to kind of make levels so that way you don't have to worry about crushing anything as well. Um, da, 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 da. Other than that, that is what I have came up with on these two items. Again, great, resourceful, compact is the key. Pamper Chef is definitely looking at the smaller condensed kitchens now, so storage space is a must for today's go-to cookers. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, and then we have a couple more new products that I'm going to share. Um, I don't have these because they're on back order, but it's going to be the medium cover and store lid. So these are lids right here that will fit on um, your cupcake pan, your brownie pan, your rectangular baking pan, and your medium sheet pan. 
So these, this is a lid that adjusts, and it has like a little lip right here on the side, and it's got these cute little pictures of all these pans. So it has the brownie pan picture and the cupcake picture and the sheet pan pictures, um, and you can put a lid on it. So when you're trying to transport cupcakes, the frosting won't get, you know, screwed up. Um, or if you're trying to transport like a baked pizza from the medium sheet pan, um, you can easily transport that. Um, so if you know anyone that is a baker, they definitely need that. And now when someone purchases a brownie pan um, or the cupcake pan or a medium sheet pan or rectangle baking pan, you can upsell them on a lid as well. And because it's adjustable, they just need one lid for all their four products. And then there is a um, large version of that as well, and that fits the large sheet pan. So the large sheet pan is a very popular item. Um, you know, it's like the go-to sheet pan for your oven. Um, so definitely when people order that, sell them on that as well. And then we have um, one of my favorite products. We've actually, we earned this like, I don't know, a couple months ago as consultants. So we've bagged and bagged and bagged and they brought them to us for purchase. And these is our, this is our everyday tote set. You actually get two bags. So these have like clips right here. And I use them every time I go to the store. And I swear to you that someone always mentions how cool my bags are. I could never say anything about it because I couldn't sell them. But now I can. Um, so these little clips hook onto your shopping cart. And you can fit both of them, one in the front, one in the back. Put your groceries in it. You know, I normally do like one for like cold stuff and one for like veggies. Um, and then they ha it has like a little hole. And then you can close it up and carry it to your car. Now sometimes I do overfill it and I don't close it, but it fits like so many things. So now you can sell them um, to your customers as well and it's a great booking tool when you're out and about. So get your hands on on these as soon as you can. As an active consultant you can get any of the new products for 50% off or host your own party and get them you know for free or discounted but these are a great booking tool I swear to you every time I go to a store someone's mentioned something about these bags um, okay and then we have something that we already have but it changed color so me, Claudia. The, yes how much are the bags the bags are $47 for the set so they come to Yes. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so something we already have but changed colors is the um, small cool and surf tray and the large cool and surf tray. So now we have wide inserts. And only for this season can people just buy the wide insert. After the season, they just get the whole um, cool and surf tray. And the reason behind this is, is just because it's a more neutral color. So if you, you know, are doing like a holiday spread or Thanksgiving or just have like people over for dinner, it's just more classic than the green. So I love the green, but for me, green is like the outdoor, like for barbecues and things like that. So I think this is perfect because now we can use it year round and serve it, you know, for a dinner table or something like that. But definitely great for the holidays. So whoever already has the cool and serve tray, that's someone you can call and be like, hey, we now have white inserts as well. Um, and sell them those too just for the season. You can only for the season purchase the inserts separately. Okay, so remember that. Um, and then we have um, our charitable product, which is um, our new bowl. Very pretty. So now we have a Nourish and a Share Bowl. Um, these are our Feeding America Bowls, as we call them. So for every purchase, Pamper Chef donates $4 to Feeding America. Now, that means that those $4 will go to one of your local food banks. Um, so this is just this doesn't just go to like a random location. This actually goes to your local food bank. So they showed a conference and really, you know, nice ideas for these to be gifts. So if you're looking for holiday gifts and people, you know, bake something or make cookies, it's a great way to put it in this bowl, wrap it around, and share this gift. So teachers' gifts, um, you know, neighbors' gifts for Christmas, holiday. So this is definitely awesome. So definitely take this to all your shows and talk about it. It's really pretty. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to have four total at the end, but we don't know. We have two now, and you actually can buy this as a set, so you can buy the Nourish and the Share Bowl as a set. Um, and then we have some special holiday products. I know, 
we only have like what three four months till Christmas so uh, don't kill me um, but this is our eat drink and be merry cheese board super cute so if you're doing vendor events this fall definitely have some of these or have one pre-packaged um, it does come with like a bamboo spreader set but I can't find mine so I'll show it to you over here and it says um, celebrate family and friends for the spreader I hope you can see that these are all also available online now too um, but so you could definitely bundle you know the cheese board and the spreader put some nice wrapping paper around it and it's a cute little gift put some cookies on it if you wanted to um, or serve it at your holiday parties with trees and crackers so this is like a gift for the holiday season if you're doing vendor events I would definitely you know maybe buy like five of them so you could celebrate that in there or if you need gifts for people that you don't know what to get this is great too so one of our new pro holiday products and then we always have new holiday scrapers so one says holiday cheer and the other one says Santa's little helper how cute is that for little kids right so you could have a holiday cooking with kids party and everyone could go home with a Santa's little kid uh, Santa's little helper spatula so these are just gifts that they give us you know for the holiday season like it's just so much easier to sell something during the holidays if it has like a holiday theme um, or if you need teachers gifts for your kids yourself these are awesome as well um, and then we have our um, should probably open this up our holiday cookie card collection and this is really cheap it's only three dollars and fifty cents right here and we had it last year so but it gets discontinued for the holidays but it's awesome and I've made some of these cookies and they're really delicious and it's got um, some cookie recipes so it's got the recipes right here or the pictures and then how to make them back here so this is a quick cheap gift as well you know three dollars and fifty cents can't beat it if you need hostess gifts for the holidays grab some of those for yourself or for giveaways as well and then um, something that I actually just found out a couple days ago that I didn't notice is we always have our new season's best cookbook and I've always said that every time around the holidays I say everyone should get a couple of these and put them in an envelope as a holiday card you can write something on the front page and it's only two dollars it's cheaper than Hallmark cards and people have something that they can keep versus just another holiday card that you know goes in your fridge and then who knows where it ends up so now what they did is um, they have it's called the gift of seasons best set and I think this is brilliant right here and it's seven dollars and you get three seasons best cookbooks and three white envelopes to go with it so um, like I said use them for greeting cards holiday cards um, but it's awesome and then you put your label on it on the back and people have your information so it kind of spreads the cheer along the way right um, okay um, do we have any questions about the new products now I haven't used all of them yet so I don't know if I can answer them but I can try <laughs> Karen has a question um, so I know you mentioned about promoting the season's best as another greeting card instead of buying regular greeting cards. But I'm just wondering, wouldn't it look shady putting your information on the back? Well, if if I you know if the order comes to me, then um, I normally put a label just right here on the back. That's where I put okay. mine right here. But okay. you know if it gets to them, then you can't do that but if they want to know where did you get that from I need more then or next right. year they want to send that out then um, they can contact the person who gave it to them awesome and then the other question I had for you is when I know they keep on saying somewhere in September but I'm wondering do you know when exactly the new product they're gonna come out I know the uh, the veggie maker is already out, but what about the rest? When are they planning to start selling them? 
So start selling will be September 1st. So this okay. week you will receive your new catalogs and if you earn something in the free for all that's showing up this week as well. And you can already as a new consultant purchase all of the new products for 50% off right now. Um, but I always suggest unless you have paint per chef dollars to spend, don't do that. Just have your own party. You know, every year I do a first chance, last lanes party. Have your new party, introduce a new product, you're the host, and get your new product with you with being your host yourself. So it counts towards your um, monthly sales goals and you get paid on it. So should I assume that the new products will so the holiday item? Will they be in the catalog coming out in September? Correct. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I do want to mention a couple um, extra things here and there. So I wouldn't worry about the new products until you're happy with your August. So unless your August calendar looks the way you want it to be and you have your shows that you want, then by all means, go ahead and advertise the new product, but don't unless you still want a strong August. So, because if you start pulling, you know, posting all the new products now, people are going to book their parties for September, but maybe your August is not even where it is. So, I would advertise the new veggie strip maker because you can start selling that August 1st um, and tell them, you know, they can have it for free when they have their own party this month. But, like I said, don't go crazy posting the new product now until you are happy with your August. And I do suggest to have, um, like I just said it again, I call it the um, last chance first clients party. So the last chance to get orders in for products that are getting discontinued and the first glance at the new catalog. Um, I always have that. I just scheduled mine for August 17th. Um, so definitely do that. Introduce a new product to your friends, show them the discontinued list, maybe, you know, do a fun giveaway, try out some new products. Um, I'm sorry, I think all of our kids are here today. Okay, yeah. mommy's working, okay? Um, okay, does anyone, who needs more August bookings? Who could use some more August bookings? Everyone happy? I need okay. some August. Okay. Um, okay, baby. Yes. Sorry. Oh my God. Um, so what I, I wanted to give you a couple tips about booking shows for August. Um, or not. Gigi. Okay. Here. Take my phone. Go. Um, this is why it's a flexible job, right? Everyone can do this. Anyways, so uh, we did just have a uh, booking blitz last, was it last night? Monday night. Um, so if you didn't get the invite or um, maybe you missed it, let me know. The link is still available. So there is a ton of ideas on how to get more August bookings on that. But I wanted to mention that August is one of the best months to have a cooking party. If you know anyone that has any big items on the wish list, they can get any one product for 60% off. So what you can do is you know, message those people that have wanted the rock crock or the grill pan or maybe some stoneware or new pots and pans or knives um, and tell them, hey, you know, would you like to just get some friends together so I can get you your rock crock for $50 or whatever the 60% off price is. But something you can also do for your out-of-state friends is, you know, we call them green dot messages. So message anyone that's green online on Facebook um, or text people out of state and be like, hey, I'm sending out a catalog and some order forms. Would you like one? If you just collect $200 in orders, I can give you one item at 60% off, one item at 50% off, and $20 in free product, uh, plus 20% of the whole catalog. So that's a quick, easy way, even if you have 10 people that just do $200 in sales, but those normally add up around this time of the year because the host special is not restricted and it's the cheapest way for them to get that big price item that they want. So definitely do that, reach out to people, or and sometimes you'll be surprised, people will spend $200 so they can get the grill paint for 60% off. So I have some people that do that every now and then, um, but definitely go out and offer that to everyone as well. And then um, 
don't forget that they just announced a new recruiting incentive. So for every new consultant that joins your team this month, when they do their first 1250 in their first 30 days, you get a hundred PC dollars. So if you're a new consultant and you're still in your first 90 days, that means that doubles for you. So you would get 200 PC dollars. If you're a seasoned consultant and you need some new, you know, some more PC dollars so you can get some free fall product or free, you know, new catalogs, um, that is a great way to earn those and stock up on supplies and not pay anything out of pocket. Now, um, again, if you have someone that's just slightly interested, please let us know. We're more than happy to set up like an interview with them. We call it an interview, but it's not really an interview. Um, or a get together with them and help answer any questions that they might have. Um, so let us know if you have anyone that's interested. And I always say if you have shows, those are your recruits. Normally, most hosts will be your recruits because they're already excited about having a party. They love the product. So it's just a matter of asking them, hey, have you ever thought about doing something like paying for chaff? You're already having a party. We could easily turn this into your kickoff party and you would be making money and earning the rewards at the same time. And then I just reassure them that, of course, I would still come and help them, but it would be their party. Um, so definitely offer that to every single one of your hosts. Okay, so, um, and then again, I wanted to remind you about the PACE program. I think every single one of you guys should be on that. Um, I will be on there myself. Lori and Charlie will be on there themselves as well. Um, so you have today and tomorrow before the program starts at 9 p.m. to watch the video and send me your five best tips that you learned from that. So definitely, I always say you have to invest time in your business to make it grow. So definitely do that. Um, okay, so I want to open it up real quick for some questions. So um, please unmute yourself if you have any questions and we will try and answer them. Anybody have any questions? No? No questions? Um, I have one more question for you, Claudia. Yes. I, so, you know how you mentioned that uh, we have to maintain 150 um, at least every six months? Correct. And I'm wondering because Home Office is saying it's every month you have to maintain 150. And I'm worried because I might take time off and I'm going like, how do I end up um, meeting that in one month? Or is there like a miscommunication between the home so there's and... No, so there's two different things. So in order to be considered an active consultant, meaning you submitted sales, and you're, we call it green, um, you submit $150 in sales every month. But what I'm talking about is in order to remain a consultant and not lose your consultant status, you have to at least submit $150 in sales once every six months. If you don't do that on your seventh month, then you basically lose your consultant agreement and you would have to repurchase a kit to come back. So basically, if you are inactive for six months in a row, then um, it's kind of like, deter um, what is it called? Determining or something like that? Your contract. Okay. So pretty much, let's say I can be a consultant one month and the other month I'm off and then come back and get off again. Which are not my intentions, yeah. but I'm just asking. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay. So, and the other one you mentioned, um, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. So the other one, can you explain a little bit more? About, sorry. The one, so you said there were two of them. So there was the 150 where you submit six months in order to uh, remain as a consultant. The other one is where every yes. month you have to submit 150 to maintain your title, you say? Yeah, it's just to basically remain like 
it's called you'll be an active consultant if you do 150 in any given month so um, if you want to order sample products or if you want to order catalogs or any supplies you have to be an active consultant so a consultant that doesn't do anything for four months can't go online and order the new fall products at 50% off. So if you wanted to do that, you have to make sure that you have at least $150 in sales in to order the new products. The previous month, right? Correct. Thank you. OK. You're welcome. Anyone else have any questions? Any booking questions, recruiting questions, sales questions in general? Or are we all set? I've got one. Okay. Hi, Terry. So, uh, hi, everyone. I'm about to move back home to, like, high school friends that I haven't seen in five years because we've been in the military. Um, so, any um, advice on selling to friends? <laughs> I think you were breaking up. So are you you trying to see how to sell to your friends? Yes. OK. Um, you'll actually be surprised that we actually just ran out a conference that most, the age group that is most likely to host parties um, or join your Pamper Jeff business is between the age of 18 to 35. Um, so I think that would work great for your past high school friends. Um, but basically, you know, when you move, you just, and you're, you're better off than me and Lori and Charlie did because you'll know people, we didn't know anyone, is to just have a relaunch party at your house. Show them what you're doing, show them the products, um, and they'll automatically, you know, want to either buy the products or if they want to save money, they'll host parties for you. And then there's nothing wrong with if you have close friends or family to be like, hey, I'm moving my business. Guess what? You're having a party for me. You need to invite yeah. your friends. Right. So. The other thing that I would suggest is to, um, if that doesn't work out, <laughs> if that doesn't work out, just make sure you're putting yourself out there, not just to your friends, because sometimes they're the least likely to help you out. Um, and sometimes you're the least likely to ask them, so um, make sure you're asking, but also make sure you're branching out and, you know, maybe doing a couple of vendor events or something, you know, carrying your information with you to, um, to the store and ask people all the time. So be constantly trying to make new contacts um, once you go back, too. Okay. And also, since I'm still and that's doing actually a great um, subject because we all just moved ourselves, and um, well... no, go ahead. I was actually going to tell um, Charlie to share what she's been doing too, because you've been pretty successful. All right, I was just going to say that I've uh, been in my lo new location for exactly two weeks, uh, two days, in two days. Yeah, to be honest. So two weeks and two days. And so I just had my first vendor event this past weekend, which I literally booked um, whenever I knew for sure where I was going to be living at. I went on Craigslist, and I would found events, and I signed up for it, not having a clue how far it was from my house. And that was kind of scary, but, you know, I just, I just put myself out there. Um, as we drove across country, um, I had my catalog bag with me and my business cards and many catalogs and everywhere we went I left some behind um, and everywhere I was. The, in every hotel receptionist got a season's best cookbook as a thank you when I left the hotel um, and I left a catalog in every single hotel reception area um, everywhere. You know, I was just sort of like this pampered chef person all over the country all across the United States and just leaving my stuff everywhere and just whatever. Wearing my hat almost every day and my t-shirt. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure my family thought I was a freak, but it's okay. Um, and so, yeah, and so that's just, you know, an easy way to do that. Now that I'm settled into my new location, my new community, um, you'll quickly see that there's tons of places to put yourself out there. And I was excited today that I went back to my dry cleaners where they have little business card holders and mine was empty. And so I had to refill today. 
Um, and so, and it really, really does help when you do that because then you're getting your name out there. And I've gotten several uh, blind leads from people who have found my information and have contacted me on my website and said, hey, I, saw, I picked up your business card here and I need some new knives. And so then I, you know, I've been emailing her. And so there's just different ways to get yourself out there. And I'm still building my business, but most of my sales last month were from outside sales from people who I didn't know who they were. That I followed up with them afterwards, and they said they had found my catalog, you know, somewhere. So there you go. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Um, and I do want to say that the key is follow up. So if you've been handing out catalogs and you haven't heard anything back, then the reason is you didn't get their contact information. Um, things happen, people forget, you know, they go home, they might throw your catalog on their desk and two weeks later it's covered by other stuff. Um, so I can tell you hands on that I've done that before as I started, I would just, you know, pass out catalogs like crazy, but you don't expect business in return from that. So I suggest put a little get some mini catalogs so even now if we get the new catalogs or when we get the new catalogs and you have old catalogs that you're not going to use, use those as you hand them out. You know, don't get rid of them or throw them away. Don't ever throw old catalogs away. Put a sticky note on them. That way when you talk to people and maybe, you know, you're at, in line at a grocery store and there's people behind you, you can just be like, hey, would you mind just putting down your name, email and phone number um, and I can follow up with you or I can add you to my customer newsletter. Um, and you'll be surprised how many people say yes. Once in a while there'll be somebody says no and then that's okay. You didn't lose anything. But if they give you the information, then you can do a follow-up call, you know, within one to two days and see if they, you know, if they looked through the catalogs, if they liked anything, you know, go in the whole have your own party, get it for free thing. Um, but that is the, the golden rule is to get the customer's information. So I'm sure a lot of you have given out catalogs before and be like, oh, I've given out, you know, 25, 30 catalogs and they cost me all money and I haven't gotten anything back. So that is the reason why you need their information. I've learned the hard way myself. I didn't, you know, and if you're not comfortable at all talking while you're out there, then maybe just take 10 mini catalogs and start just handing them out. And then maybe next time be like, okay, maybe I can just get their email address. So just do like little steps at a time. Um, and you can always say, you know, I challenge all of you. You can always say, hey, my director just challenged me to give out 10 of these catalogs this week. Would you take one? Do you like one? And what do most people say when they say when they see Pamper Chef? They're like, oh yeah, Pamper Chef. I love Pamper Chef. They always do. Um, unless they're really young and maybe have never heard of it. But most people have something Pamper Chef in their house. Um, okay, so there's that about how to, you know, branch out of your circle. Um, okay, anyone else have any questions? Okay, no. Um, well, if you don't have any questions or if you have any questions later on, please message me um, or post it on our team page and let us know. Again, the incentives for this month and that's going to be for the whole rest of the year are on the pinned post. Um, so read those over. I don't want you to miss it by like $50 or, you know, something like that. Um, Awesome. Our next team meeting will be in September. We haven't picked quite a day yet. We're looking at the first week of September and we will let you know when that happens. All right, everyone. You guys have a good night.